I find it so funny how instead of using my actual camera, I'm using it as a phone rest. Only reason is because my camera has been acting really weird, so I'm just gonna be using my iPhone. I'm doing a get ready with me today. I'm not doing anything or going anywhere. I'm just getting ready for no reason. So last night I cut a little bit more. I'm sorry. I always ruin my hair every time I get it done, so. But before I start with my makeup look, I'm gonna wash my face first because you should always be washing your face before you do your makeup. So I was recently gifted this Duval Radiance Spin Care System. If you guys don't know, Duval is a must-have radiance system. It's a spin brush that's incredible at exfoliating and unclogging pores. It comes with a lot of different bristles. So there's four. One of them is a softer bristle for cleansing, like your normal everyday cleansing, which is what I mostly use. It comes with a large body cleansing brush. Uh, there's another one for exfoliation and the pumice stone. I love the brush because it makes my skin feel feels so soft because in reality i get so lazy to take my makeup off and using the spin brush helps so much it also gives you a better clean because you're not just using your fingers you can use my discount code angela g it will be listed down below i like pairing the spin brush with the mix easy face cleanser mix easy is really cool because it is a personalized skincare system where you get to pick your own ingredients they also have a lot of other products like face cream face mask hair mask i love this product because it's personal to you. It even has your name on the bottle, which I think is really cute. My skin has been very smooth since using this product. The face cream is a little thick, and since I have dry skin, it's kept me very moisturized. I also have a coupon code for Mix Easy, which will also be Angela G. If you're looking for new skincare and you're not really sure, you don't really want to buy brand names, I recommend these products. The website is really easy to use and really fast. Also, thank you Mix Easy and Duval for sponsoring this video. Okay. Oh my. So now that my face is all nice and clean, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the makeup. I'm um, not sure what look I'm going for. You guys should know by now. I just kind of go for it. I'm mostly going to be using products that I got in my November BoxyCharm. It was just November, right? Yeah, we're on December. If these products look familiar, you probably saw them on my Instagram story. I haven't tried new products in a while. This is the Earth Harbor Helios. I think is what it's called. Anti-pollution youth M. And who I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. So this packaging looks very cute. It's just a few little drops. I'm gonna use this as like a primer kind of. That actually feels kind of nice. I'm gonna use a quick lip oil. That way you guys don't have to look at my crusty ass lips. I hope you can see me by the way. I can't see anything. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. This is really good. I like it. I always use this NYX Dark Circle Corrector. This is like magic for my under eyes. I've had this for years and it works really good. It's really cheap and I should probably get a new one because this is really old and grimy. Just in case you guys are wondering, this is why I don't use a front camera. Just put foundation everywhere but your eyelids and it'll look like you're wearing some sort of shadow. There's a little tip. I don't know if any of you guys have this too, but for some reason, one of my eyes likes to stick better to concealer than the other. This one is fine, but this one, there's still like a little, like a little thing right there. And I don't know why. Every single time I do it, it always does that. I'm going to be using this Natasha Denona palette. Um, I'm just going to be using this orange and the brown. I also have these new brushes from Farah. I have used their brushes before. They're really good. I'm going to take this like little flat brush and take that brown that's in there and just fill the crease right there. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. You also could use black for this. I preferably use black. Take it out a little bit as well. These are blending in very nicely. I think I'm just gonna blend in this front part right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the orange that came in this palette. Start at the outer edge i think what i'm gonna do is do like a little outer thing kind of blend it into blush i think the key is just to blend i i can't tell if this is like darker or lighter but i'm gonna, just gonna add it
Oh my god, these brushes with these eyeshadows, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and put ColourPop concealer. Just gonna go like this. Take a little clean spoolie. Brows are gone. I love bleaching my eyebrows so much. Okay, I think what's gonna fix it is lashes. I am running out, but this is the Fenty Beauty Liner. Just a little thin line. Whenever I apply eyeliner to this eye only, it starts burning. I use air spun. I think I'm just gonna skip blush and everything else. By the way, these are the lashes Go Big or Go Home by The Bold Face Makeup. You guys know I only use their lashes. I was just gonna talk about my favorite lash applicator tweezers, but I lost them. Who's praying on my downfall? It's probably somewhere in this messy ass room right now. Look up the Ulta Beauty lash applicator tool. <sighs> After you cover your lashes in spit, you're gonna apply them. This is Bodyography Black Walnut Eye Pencil. God, I need to stop slouching. Ooh, this is sharp. Ooh, let me tell you about this. I think I got this in the Ipsy Glam Plus bag. Everything will be linked down below, but Trustique, I think is what it's called. I'm a Trustique mascara. It comes with its own eyelash curler. The concept is so cool. I'm not sure how you would use it though because it's very thin. I think it'll only work for like natural lashes. I can't stick my eye in there. I just thought it was really cool. I like how I always test new mascaras when I wear lashes. <laughs> like bro, whenever I apply mascara, I'm like, get really in there, you know? I really like the look of bottom clumpy lashes. Oh my God, I just got like a flashback memory of me playing Stardoll. You know, when you would apply mascara on the characters, it would like apply it as if you're applying real mascara, like it only show up on little parts. There was like a little empty spot that I couldn't get. I used the She Who Shall Not Be Named white eyeliner. Not gonna lie, ever since I got my bridge pierce, I feel like I have to keep my looks symmetrical or else it looks kind of weird. I'm going to use a NYX Lip Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. I don't think I'm ever going to stop using these lipsticks. I know they kind of suck because they're so dry. No one is doing it like NYX, you know? This lighting, man. Okay, I think we're ready. Have straight hair, bro. I like it. My sister actually gave me these earrings when she was like throwing out her old stuff and I haven't stopped wearing them since because they just go with everything. So that's it for the look. I'm gonna go take some pictures and do my thing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Thanks again to Duval and Mix Easy for sponsoring this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye guys.